reinvesting the principal or you're not reinvesting into the income generating principle in the first place. So you're just getting paid this stuff and, it, and you know, we can go into the mechanics of how it will fail over time, but you know, no, go gonna, into it right now if you want, yeah. how, how will it fail? So it, the best way to think about it is like, if someone walked up to you and said, Hey, I have this fund. We take one trade a month and it's either, we're either going to make 2% or we're going to lose 2% on the trade. And whether or not we win or lose, we're going to pay you 2%. You would not invest. You'd be like, oh, like that's stupid. Mm -hmm. But there's sort of this weird mystique that exists around covered calls and premiums where people don't understand. It's like, oh, well, it's just, you know, it's just been, it's cash that's thrown off by the options or like anything, you know, it's sort of well camouflaged. Like, like if you break it down to what it really is, like it just, it just makes no sense. Like it's just mathematically, it just will go to zero. So like if you look at it over time, for example, um, you know, the fund will write a call on its sort of synthetic long position and let's say it makes money and it says, okay, great. We made a hundred dollars. We're going to send it out to our, you know, dividend holders. When it shorts the call, it's not, I think a lot of people sort of think of covered call trading as like it has max upside, but if, if something goes up enough, it just has capped upside. It doesn't equal zero, right? Or you can't lose money if a stock goes up. It's just capped upside. But if you do that sort of over time in sort of a synthetic position, what you end up getting is just a very, very high cost basis because on your assets, because you if you just short a call, that very much is a directional position that you can lose money on. And since the fund isn't taking assignment on any of the executions, it's basically just massively decreasing its future earnings power by increasing the current cost basis. Like it's, it's sort of complicated to think about how the execution and settlement works, but if it sells a call and it doesn't expire worthless, the fund loses money, even though it's still paying out the premium to you. So, so I, I had said that, that wasn't too complicated. I, it's, so, it's yeah, it's sort of, I try and dumb it down for people like, like I am with these, but so I had tried to explain, um, they make their, their bets right during the month. If they lose money, they then have to tap into what their cash reserves are and exactly. then they have less money the next month to write, to do this option strategy. So then yeah. 